Time for a look at entertainment news. I'm joined today by Etox Tyrone Edwards. Hello there, Tyrone. Nice to see you. Always um, a pleasure. You've got some details on Gina Carano being dropped from The Mandalorian after some controversial tweets that she put out. Tell us more. Yes. Uh, so a lot of these tweets uh, are definitely politically charged and uh, we even had some comparisons uh, to German Nazi era to what we're seeing in America in these days. Uh, she talked about, she mocked the use of masks to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and also propagated misinformation about voter fraud. So Lucasfilm uh, has issued a statement distancing themselves from from her. Uh, she became a star. Uh, she came, you know, she was a martial artist and a mixed martial artist. And she, uh, you know, jumped into Hollywood with Haywire, Fast and the Furious 6, Deadpool, and, and really became a fan favorite um, as Cara Dune on Mandalorian. Uh, but with her recent comments and posts on social media, she's been getting a lot of backlash. And so Lucasfilm has decided to distance themselves from her. Uh, they had just finished season two, so it kind of was an easy break because they're just not going to sign her back on for uh, mm -hmm. season three. Has she responded? Um, not that I have seen yet, but um, they did ask. Um, there is a, a spokesperson. They asked for a comment, but nothing was uh, nothing was 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 uh, given. OK. Uh, Morgan Wallen has broken his silence after using a racial slur. What's the latest with him? OK, so this one is uh, obviously, again, very disappointing. Morgan Wallen, a uh, lot of people really interested in his character and, and sort of his uh, bad boy fun personality. He was there was a video that came out on TMZ of him using the N word. Um, and he's since then obviously gotten a lot of backlash. His label uh, has dropped him. Um, he's been dropped from Sirius XM, uh, iHeart Media, Cumulus Media, and actually the Academy of Country Music also announced that it will halt Wallen's involvement and eligibility at this year's award show. Now, there's a video, um, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but this is a video of him breaking his silence and um, addressing the issue um, apologizing and also just describing what's what's been happening. So, with that, the the black community, the NAACP, has been very, as he describes, gracious, uh, and as, as well as he's been called out, he's also been called in so that he can learn uh, why that word is not okay to be used. Why, even if you're drunk or or using it uh, jokingly, it isn't actually a joke. And um, th there seems to be a real um, opportunity for him to learn here. Yeah. So when when you watch the video, it's about five minutes long, um, but you'll you'll see that yes, he is being called out. He is being penalized uh, professionally, uh, but he is also being granted that grace. Yeah. He, he might need better handlers because he's been in trouble a couple times in the last year. Uh, Tyrone, I got to leave it there for today. Thank you so much. Good to see you.